Well, I pretty much hit the wall today. Uh, I essentially had what was a mental collapse in the studio. And I guess it was just maybe a convergence of events, just a rough week and, you know, one of those things where uh, you just can't cope with all the work that you have on your plate. We had basically planned to do two songs vocally today and after the first song I just uh, I sung what was basically the first line of the next song and I had to stop I couldn't do it anymore and I just totally the bottom just dropped out on me and use all my faculties just to keep myself together you know I've had better days but these kind of things happen when when you're putting everything that you have creatively into one pinpoint um, outlet and um, yeah hopefully this is the last time without making this weirder than it already probably is um, this is how I'm dealing with the rough week that I've had a hot bath and a glass of Jack Daniels well, I got a couple days off from recording my project which is nice um, I can't take the time just to do whatever I want because the way that I am actually funding this project for myself is by producing musical demos for other clients. Um, and these clients range from country to rock to more alternative and, uh, you know, Christian. Um, just uh, whatever comes my way, what I do is I take their musical ideas and I produce them into working demos which they can take into the studio later on and make into a slick polished recording and so I do this all from my little home studio um, I'm gonna show you what I got here in a second but uh, it works for me and comes out sounding alright for my clients so here's what I got this is where my demoing magic happens got some computers set up, got some studio monitors, I got uh, keys, gear, uh, percussion stuff, amps, guitars, um, anything I need to do some serious overdubs for people's projects and uh, it's exactly what I need and it's exactly what they need so everybody wins. I'm heading over to Brad's studio right now to cut drums for the project and uh, we've decided to go with Jano Ricks on the project for drums and he plays um, I think his main gig is playing for the Wood Brothers and uh, believe me when I say he's got an incredible feel and amazing groove so the, the reason why we decided to go with him on this project was because he kind of has a special way of playing um, he's very selective about his tones and very experimental with his parts and uh, it's not just randomly experimental but he seems to have the right feel and the right headspace for what we're going for on this project and so I'm excited and you should be too. And Brad is setting up the mics and such for the session. Brad do you have anything to say about it? Can you, like, do a horrified zoom on my face? So these are the preamps <laughs> that we're going to be using. Preamps? Uh, jazz. Jazz preamps. <laughs> How you doing there, Jess? Ah, uh, yeah. That's whatever you were talking about for you. Tell everybody what's going on. We're recording some drums uh, with Mr. Jono over here. Hello, hello. And he's got all of his accoutrements. Um, accoutrements and accoutrements. In this tiny little studio. Got the drum kit going. Got my deer hooves. <laughs> how, many, how many deer had to die to make that? Good question. Did you kill them yourself? Not at liberty to comment. <laughs> <laughs>